Hey man, are you ready to get inspired? You came to the right place. Today we're gonna talk about display and diorama backgrounds. It's gonna be all about inspiring one another to take better photos of our action figures, to better display them, to show them off. And one portion of them, of, of, of doing so, will be the background. I get a lot of questions about my recent posts on Instagram with uh, Bishop, Malcolm and Randall, how I did those custom action figures, but also how I did the background, not only the portal effect, but also the city. So the secret is not really a, a secret. It is an aquarium background. You can easily get it in your shop where you live or online like I do because in my shops there's... I live in Norway, far north, in almost the end of the world. So there's... I'm very limited when it comes to the stuff I can, I can, I can purchase in the shops. So I have to go online. One we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I did today is the destroyed New York City. Uh, I bought a plexiglass. I cut it. As you can see, I didn't do a great job with the cutting, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be hidden under the rest of the display and dioramas. As long as it doesn't have sharp edges, it's cool. You can always remove the sharp edges with a little bit of sandpaper. Uh, the first one I bought had the glue on it. This one didn't. It's supposed to like stick by itself, so I'm not super happy with with the way I probably won't gonna buy any more from this company so I'm not gonna give them a shout out but it does work I make it work yeah so as I mentioned I cut the plexiglass to the dimension I need for my shelf as well as for the diorama uh, as, as well as for the background I order online I try to do my best uh, to get rid of all the bubbles. The tool I was using previously wasn't good enough. It was to um, the surface of the material of this placat. It was it was just too gentle. So I have to go with my with my fingers. That's why it looks like 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 it does. Maybe you you could do a better job. I hope you will use a hashtag Marvelo Dad so I can see all your work if. If you have something interesting to share and to encourage other to modi mo motivate them to inspire them to do to do better, I would love to give you a shout out to to include you in my videos to make this whole community grow together to inspire one each, one another to sharp our photographic tools uh, against each other. So this is how it, it it turns out. It's really simple. It's really cool. You can always add some diorama pieces like I use here from uh, paper, paper mache. I have a video I'm gonna put at the end of this of this video of how I did uh, the second diorama, the desert di diorama. You can leave it at, as is as a background with a flat surface or you can put some additional additional things to make it even more interesting. The negative part of this will be that there is less space for all your action figures. The positive is that it's like mind blowing. So if you have space for it, then, then, then just go for it. The cool thing with this kind of diorama that it's glossy. It's, it's, it looks really nice instead of uh, the, the flat surface that's gonna need more light, more exposure to, to, to make it look cool and fancy. So it depends of different stroke for different folks, I guess. I hope you get inspired. If you have any cool shots, tag me in or use the hashtag MarveloDat so I can include them in the next video. Take care.